So we've uh, come to the end of my little five day period of being an ethical consumer and um, it's been really interesting actually. Um, it's been pretty difficult and I was, I was expecting it to be difficult going into it but it's been hard in ways that I probably wasn't expecting. Um, being kind of going from you know, eating meat for my whole life to having a, a week of being vegan I thought was going to be pretty difficult but turns out it wasn't really all that hard at all. Um, um, besides from kind of planning and having to know what you're going to eat and that constant looking up of things and making sure and double checking and I guess that that was the thing that kind of surprised me that the difficulty wasn't in the being ethical, the difficulty was in the effort it took, if that makes any sense, um, because just you can't have any spontaneity at all, like you can't be just walking on the street and think, oh, I'm a bit hungry, I might grab a chocolate bar or something, you just, you just can't do that, you have to stand in 7-Eleven and Google every single thing that's on the shelf to try and figure out how ethical these companies are and if you can, like, if you can buy it, um, and yeah, that got really, really tiring actually. So even though I probably don't think that that kind of super extreme, hardcore version of ethical consumption which we tried to do for only a really, really short period of time probably isn't practical for most people and really won't lead to kind of um, uh, large scale change because the, the fact of the matter is that people just aren't going to be able to sustain that. Like it's just it's just exhausting. Um, I do really think that small little changes in everyone's life is kind of the way to go. Um, like I personally was kind of a little bit surprised and blown away about how easy it is to get reasonably priced, um, awesome, awesome organic produce delivered to, like straight to your home, which is something that I'm going to keep doing. Um, because it's just so easy, it's not all that much more expensive than buying a big, uh, going shopping at Coles and Woolworths and because they're giving you a whole bunch of stuff, I know my, my willpower is pretty shitty that when I go with the intention of buying like good fruit and vegetables and everything like that, I'll come out with like, you know, you know packets of pasta sauce or whatever happened to be on sale, giant things of Doritos just because they were there. Um, so and it's, it's fun as well because like you are given a whole bunch of fruit and vegetables and then it's kind of like well you create something with this um, which is cool if you're into cooking and um, it encourages you to cook with stuff that you probably don't normally cook with and experiment and do some stuff different so that's really fun um, and I really enjoyed the, um, the ethical drinking stage as well um, being able to go to pretty cool bar that I didn't really know about and um, have a drink there and there, all the money goes to charity so I'll definitely be going back there again. Um, in terms of the eating, I think that uh, being fully vegan probably isn't for me. Um, being vegetarian is something that I would totally consider. Um, I'm not sure if I'm quite ready to do that just yet but I've definitely cut out a lot of meat from my diet, especially red meat, um, um, because it is such a, such a, the, the whole red meat industry and just meat industry in general is such a insane, it has such an incredible environmental impact and obviously there's the ethical issues with killing of animals for our food and stuff like that, um, that even though I'm kind of willing to go full vegetarian, they're just cutting that down and maybe having, only having meat once or twice a week. Um, which is something that I'm going gonna, gonna to try to keep doing. Um, yeah.